Well, this fella's had uh, four fights in just four months. It's been a wonderful start to your professional career. But you're back at a venue, uh, the York Hall, that, that means a lot to you. Yeah, uh, York Hall's um, home of the boxing in the London area. So it's just amazing to box back here. Won the ABAs here in 208. And um, I'm out to impress the fans like I did when I won the ABAs. So what's your challenge tonight? Matthew Ellis, very experienced. Uh, how tough is this going to be for you? Um, Matthew Ellis is experienced, whatever, but um, so are the rest of them have been. And I handled them OK, so it shouldn't be a any reason why I can't handle Matthew as well. That's, that's big talk. Are you out to end this again inside the distance? Well, if it comes, it comes, and if it doesn't, it doesn't. I'm not going to rush anything, and um, I just, um, I'm just i happy that he's boxed me, really, because I've been finding it hard to get opponents, so see what happens in the ring. You look ready. Well, you look lean. Well, I've been training hard, so um, I'm ready as I'm ever going to be. It's no excuses ever lose. <laughs> Well, Matthew, this fellow Tyson Fury is getting a lot of critical acclaim, a lot of hype. What have you made of him? Yeah, he's um, you know he's a good kid. Um, he's done well in the amateurs, you know. So far, he's done good as a pro, um, you know. So um, hopefully tonight we can, um, you know, I'm going to upset the uh, upset the app cart and you know we're going to do the business. Well, they say not, not too many have been able to to actually make an attempt to go at him. Can you do that tonight? Can you change that tonight? Yeah, I think so. Like I said, you know, he's done well as an amateur, and I think he's tonight. He's maybe he's took a step up to the ladder a bit too much. I think you know tonight I've got a lot of experience behind me, you know, and uh, trained hard for it. So hopefully you know, we're going to go for it. But how do you get near someone that big? I've got a step ladder. No, I'm gonna mess. No step ladder. I'm just going to, you know, I'm just gonna, like I said, ex experience, you know, and uh, I'm going to rush him. You know, just keep the head moving and getting close, and, and, and you know, and work him, work him inside. I don't think he can fight inside. He likes it on the outside. You know, so uh, we're going to, you know, see what he's made of. Thank you. No problem, thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, the action continues with the big boys of boxing. Six rounds in the heavyweight division. Introducing to you first, fighting tonight out of the blue corner. He's wearing silver trunks with black trim and weighed in at 14 stone, seven pounds. Hailing from Blackpool, his record consists of 20 wins, six losses, one draw, with nine wins coming by way of knockout. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Matthew Ellis. And his opponent fighting tonight out of the red corner. He's wearing green trunks with white and weighed in at 18 stone, one pound, eight ounces. Coming to us from Manchester, he was the 2008 ABA Senior Super Heavyweight Champion and now is a professional. He is undefeated with four wins and all four wins coming by way of knockout. Ladies and gentlemen, introducing Tyson Fury. Our referee in charge is Dave Paris, six round scheduled heavyweights. Okay, boys, you both know the rules. We're after the knuckle part of the glove. If one of you goes down, then we go to the furthest inch of combat. Break when I tell you to, defend yourself at all times. Shake hands, boys. Good luck to you both. Matthew Ellis was knocked out in a couple of rounds by Audley Harrison not so long back. Similarly by Enzo Macronelli. Seconds out. But he can First punch. Round. Has he got the ambition to make it an awkward night here for Tyson Fury? Plenty of young talent in the heavyweight division in this country. And Fury trying to show that he's the best of them. For some strange reason, Ellis just decided to oh. walk in. He just decided to walk straight into the firing line, take Fury's best punches, and that's the result. The theory was that he can't fight off the back foot. Well, he had his man trapped in the corner, landed a flurry of punches, and down he went. I think he's going to do well to get through this opening round. But if you're going to walk into the firing line, you're going to get nailed. And that's exactly what's happened. What did he expect? Caught by another big right hand. I don't think he's going to want too much more. It may be that it's going to finish right here. He's had enough. Matthew Ellis has been...